This video is for educational and cybersecurity awareness purposes only. We do not promote misuse of any tools or software. Everything discussed is publicly available for ethical research. Today, I'll show you 10 OSINT tools that cybersecurity experts use. These tools help companies find vulnerabilities before attackers do. They also help individuals understand their own digital footprint. Remember, it's all about ethical use. Kicking things off at number one, we have OSR Framework. It's the Swiss Army knife for OSINT researchers, a collection of scripts for specific tasks. Built on Python, it automates and streamlines the search process. Feed it a username, and it checks over 200 platforms for registration. This maps out a person's or company's online presence. It includes modules for DNS lookups, uncovering technical infrastructure. The leak checking component searches for mentions in data breach compilations. This proactive measure helps companies secure accounts before exploitation. OSR framework is versatile, allowing investigations from multiple angles. Whether starting with a username, domain, or email, it provides a solid toolkit. It's a must-have for anyone serious about OSINT. It's not just a one-trick pony. It's a versatile, modular toolkit for digital investigations. Next up is GeoSynt, the high-speed, industrial-grade data collector. Written in Go, it excels in speed and concurrency, perfect for large-scale reconnaissance. It vacuums up public information related to a target, like emails and subdomains. This saves hours of manual data collection. Its standout feature is finding email addresses associated with a domain. It provides a list of potential targets for phishing simulations. It integrates with other data sources, like GitHub, for deeper insights. It connects corporate domains with individual developer activity. Geosynt builds a comprehensive profile of a target's digital assets. It's about broad, rapid collection, not deep analysis. It provides raw materials for deeper investigation. It's the first step in mapping the attack surface. Its speed and efficiency make it essential for modern OSINT. At number three is Social Analyzer, focused on social media. It scans and analyzes public social media data at scale. It identifies online behavior, connections, and patterns across platforms. With multiple interfaces, it's accessible to both power users and novices. It finds associated social media profiles from usernames, emails, or phone numbers. It analyzes content for post frequency, sentiment, and user connections, useful for brand monitoring and threat intelligence. Companies can track brand mentions and spot impersonation accounts. It's about situational awareness in the social media landscape. Ethical use is crucial as it analyzes data responsibly. It helps understand how employees might be targeted through social engineering. It's a detective tool for the digital age. It provides insights into social media interactions and potential threats. At number four, we have Social Scan, a radar for your online identity. It checks for the existence of usernames or email addresses across services. It's about presence detection, not deep analysis. It automates username enumeration, mapping a user's digital footprint. From a defensive perspective, it's valuable for personal digital cleanup. It helps find forgotten accounts and reduce attack surfaces. For ethical hackers, it's a reconnaissance tool. It checks for potential typo squatting or impersonation. It's lightweight and scriptable, integrating into larger workflows. It verifies existence across platforms, building a complete intelligence picture. It's a simple yet effective tool for digital identity management. Number five is Trufflehog, a secret hunter. It scans code repositories for secrets like API keys and credentials. It checks the entire commit history, not just the current code version. It looks for high entropy strings, likely to be secrets. It has detectors for specific patterns like AWS access keys. For companies, it's a lifesaver, integrating into CI-CD pipelines. It prevents secrets from becoming public by blocking commits. For ethical hackers, it's a tool for finding vulnerabilities. Reporting leaks can earn bounties and help secure vulnerabilities. It's a powerful tool for cleaning up the open source ecosystem. At number six, we have collaborative spreadsheet-based OSINT frameworks. Built on platforms like Google Sheets, they act as shared living documents. They serve as central dashboards for group investigations. Tabs automatically query public APIs and websites using input data. The real power is collaboration, with teams working in real time. They're customizable, adding new data sources and visualizations. They democratize OSINT, lowering the barrier to entry. 
They allow teams to set up powerful collaborative environments. It's about workflow and effective teamwork. They show that sometimes the best tools are built using everyday platforms. Number seven is Seeker, a lightweight OSINT tool. It's multi-purpose, focusing on simplicity and a small footprint. It provides a clean web interface for intelligence gathering. It performs username searches across social networks. It presents results in a user-friendly web UI. It includes modules for IP address and DNS lookups. It's a great tool for quick reconnaissance. It's simple, effective, and requires no command line knowledge. It helps find low-hanging fruit for further research. It's a tool that does a few things simply and well. At number eight, we have InstaTracker, focused on Instagram. It monitors a specific account, creating a timeline of activity. It tracks changes in followers, posts, and profile details. It reveals patterns of behavior and account evolution. It's useful for monitoring threat actors or impersonation accounts. It provides data points for analyzing account interactions. It's about patient data collection over time. It automates the process for one of the largest social networks. It turns digital actions into a permanent, analyzable record. It's a timeline builder for the digital world. Number nine is OSINT Buddy, a modular platform. It's an ecosystem with a plugin-based architecture. Users add or create modules for custom workflows. It's like a web browser with extensions tailored to specific needs. The modularity adapts to any investigation type. The community aspect allows for constant evolution. Users create and share plugins, expanding capabilities. It represents the future of OSINT frameworks. It empowers users to build their perfect toolkit. It's about creating a custom workbench for the job. Finally, at number 10, we have Spiderfoot. It's a comprehensive OSINT automation tool. It queries over 200 data sources for intelligence mapping. It automates the reconnaissance phase, uncovering connections. It collects a wide range of data, from host names to vulnerabilities. It presents data in a clean web interface with visualizations. It shows relationships between data points for a big picture view. It's indispensable for asset discovery and threat intelligence. It automates tedious processes, focusing on analysis and defense. It serves as a central hub for ethical data gathering. Every tool we discussed reveals the power of open data. These tools help ethical hackers uncover vulnerabilities, not exploit them. They're like checking if your doors are locked. Protect your own digital world before exploring others. Use this knowledge responsibly to make the internet safer.